Is there such a thing as having too many business ideas? When you start a business, you usually start from a business idea that you develop into something that hopefully creates enough money for you to live off. That's the basic idea of a business. You work on it, you set it up, you make your marketing work for you, you get customers, you retain customers, and you build on existing ideas and you develop your business. Sometimes, while you're doing what you're doing, new ideas come. And you'll find that new ideas come more often than you would hope for them to come. Because once you have an idea, you may want to incorporate that into your existing business, develop it in a different way. And that takes a bit of time, it takes a bit of effort. If you have an idea that is completely separate from your original business, you might have to start a completely new business in order to develop that. Again, a lot of time goes into that because you have to run two businesses side by side. My experience is that I meet a lot of people who have lots of ideas that do not necessarily congeal into one big business. And they spend a lot of time to figure out which of all these ideas are worth developing. And unfortunately, you can't tell. You have to try. And doing that takes a lot of energy and a lot of investment of time to get to a point where you can actually assess if the new idea is successful or not. The problem here is, by the time you get to assess your new idea, it has been so heavily ensconced in your brain as being something that you've developed, that you've spent time on. It's, a, it's your baby, really. Do you really want to cut that thing loose if it shows up and says, I don't work? At some point, you'll have to make tough decisions. And that's where decluttering comes in. This is where your mind has attached itself to an idea. And it becomes very difficult and challenging to admit that something doesn't work. Or that something might need another tweak to work. Many business owners come across that particular can of worms. Because you don't want to cut that idea loose. You have to figure out a way to realize here and in your gut that what you've tried to build doesn't quite work. And then cut your losses. And really cut your losses and say, no, this doesn't work. I'm not pursuing this. In general, it's a good idea to not pursue multiple ideas at the same time. If you have a business that works and that you know is running its course, you can afford to have an idea on the side or even two that you try to develop. But having 10 is a bit of a balance act that you may not want to even go into. There is wisdom in limiting what you're doing on the side. But there's also wisdom in trying things out. You have to strike a balance that works both ways. Finding out what your new idea does is good as long as it doesn't affect your original business. If you can incorporate your new idea into the existing business, good on you. Perfect situation. You can try it out and maybe even steer your business in a different direction that is more productive and maybe more you. But keep in mind, too many ideas may bog you down. Think about it, stay clutter aware, and come back next time. If you want more, there are options. Click the round logo to subscribe to this channel or select the playlist in the middle to see more content or check out the links in the description below. Oh, and feel free to like this video.